So today's video is going to be how am I revising and some last minute tips, tricks and advice. So I thought I'd do this video because some of you may find it helpful for me just to sit down and have a chat about how I'm revising. Just give some tips, tricks, advice if you're feeling a bit stuck because revision can make you feel a bit stuck. This is not going to be the most intense because I'm not doing intense revision like I did like last year because I'm not really rising for more than like one subject. So it's not going to be like four subjects or how to revise all your GCSE subjects. It's just going to be how am I revising this one subject. So it is still going to be helpful. There's still going to be loads of helpful pointers. There's other revision videos on my channel so check out the other revision videos. So other amazing revision YouTubers like Unjaded JD Bennett, Ibsma, Jack Edwards, Holly Gabrielle, Lydia Violetta. All them amazing people just have to find one that suits you and that works for you and just have a scout around the internet. This is not going to be GCSE or A-level specific because the tips will pretty much apply to both. I'm currently in year 12 which is your first year of like college or sixth form, whatever. Currently resitting my English GCSE so I'm going to talk about how I'm revising just to give you some ideas if you're taking your English GCSE. If you do English GCSE. So what I did for every section of my English GCSE is I just ripped a few bits of paper out of the notebook and then gave it a title and blurted everything down section wise that you like for the reading and the writing section, all the bits that you like need to do and all the different literary devices and what it's all about, what could come up, like the writing section speeches. memoirs, autobiographies, just ones like that and then like literary devices that you can comment on like alliterations, long multi-core sentences, that kind of thing. This helps when I'm like rereading my essays, like I will literally read through an essay and write down those points. This helps learning literary devices that could come up in an extract. So reread past extracts and annotate anything that I can see. Go into more detail and add into my current annotations. I find this helps to just reread an extract and sort of get the feel for annotating an extract in like an exam situation. Big thing to go with alongside it is revision powerpoints. This tip I swear by because it keeps the information all together and it's more fun and interactive. Add some animation. Throw some colour. Makes you want to read the information. I also did like context my maps like all different themes, different areas in the text. And I also would go on YouTube, watch YouTube videos for like context mind maps, texts I've never read before. I'd look at chapter summaries, like my own chapter summaries in mind map form. I also started watching videos on how to tackle an exam question because it gives you an idea how they, someone else, would tackle that question. Finally, I'm doing is past papers because they are the saviour, they help you learn how to answer a question and dealing with the mark scheme because mark schemes can be so specific it's really important to do past papers. Next I'm going to talk about organisation and motivation. To-do lists are my saviour because when it's out there you have to get it done like you literally have no other option but to get it done. So when it's in your head there's no accountability for getting it done that's why. Also there's just something about ticking things off and 
all my subjects I use a refill pad for notes and all my loose sheets go in a folder. Some specific English YouTubers that I've used was like Mr. Bruff, Course Heroes, they're like the two off the top of my head but there are some amazing ones like just have to type in English Revision YouTubers and they'll be like ones that come up and there's like loads you just have to like scout around Mr. Braff does a video on other channels he would recommend so I'd check that video out so the thing to remember is End of the day, aim high, aim for the grade you want, do your best, that's what matters. Remember, studying isn't everything. Do not let it take over your life is one thing, and don't let it interrupt your real life, because studying is important, but it's not the only thing to prioritise. Like, other things are important, like going out and seeing friends doing other things chill out as well as study like it's really important to get the balance right like something to prioritize is getting the balance right as well as finding revision techniques that work for you so i hope this was helpful to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in another video bye